<laughs> Clint, ESPN replayed some audio in which you apparently were told the 39 was, was leading the race and was going to win but right before your spin. And uh, they might have said something like, is your arm tired? And that has brought out conspiracy theorists saying that perhaps my the car was knowing something. It was tight as hell. You know what I mean? I mean, 48 blew a tire and hit a wall. I'm telling you, I was the next one. That thing slid, what, maybe less than 10 feet and blew out. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's something was going on there. And uh, I've been doing this a long time, and, and, you know, it is what it is. It's unfortunate. I, I know that it's it's a lot of fun for you guys to write a lot of wacky things and go ahead if you want to. Get creative, but, you know, don't look too much into it. I mean, it's unfortunate. I feel bad, you know, for the two guys. I'm happy for Martin, but we're out there racing as hard as we can. I was I was I went from, you know, a car that was looking like I could have won to – no man's land. I mean, I was extremely bummed out and pissed off. Got time maybe for one more? I mean, we don't have computers on board that tells us everything that happens and goes on within those cars. I mean, he is smart enough to understand all this, but he's been doing it for 58 years. I've, <laughs> I've only been at it a few.